What's good, y'all? It's your boy Bounty back. You know what I'm saying? Hope y'all having a good day. Good night if it's nighttime. Hope y'all smiling. Hope y'all happy. Man, I just hope everything going good for y'all. Now, look, today I ain't gonna lie. 49ers just took a W against the Cowboys last night. And you know what I'm saying? We're gonna go ahead and react to it. I ain't gonna lie. I watched this whole thing live, so this isn't like a, a fresh reaction or nothing. You know what I'm saying? But it's okay. It don't need to be a fresh reaction. I ain't gonna let that man Dak was blessing us this game. I don't think we would have won if Dak ain't throw them two picks. And he threw them things right to us. It was like some gifts. It won't, no way we won't catch. Well, the second one was harder to catch. I ain't gonna lie. It bobbled out the first dude here. And then it, uh, I forgot who caught the second pick. But it bobbled into, it might have been Fred Warner. I can't even remember. But it bobbled into his hands and we got that second pick. I ain't gonna lie, that boy Purdy was low-key selling a little bit this game. He, he was still throwing them dots like that right there, but... I ain't gonna lie, he, he he was selling a little bit, but it's okay though. It's okay. That's all that really matter for real. Look at that boy Dak, right? Dial up that pick, bro. Look, like, look at that, bro. Look at that, bro. That man threw that joke straight to us, bro. He threw that joke straight to us. This is, bro. This is literally a gift from Dak, bro. We don't win this game without Dak. This man, Dak, came in clutch. And look, I ain't no hater or nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to say Dak some cut or nothing. Cause, Cause, that's just not me. You feel me? But at the same time, I, I I'ma keep it a stack. That man, Dak, was selling. I ain't gonna lie. We should have scored a touchdown after that pick. I don't know how we ain't getting this end zone after that, bro. They had us on lock. I ain't gonna lie. The first half, we could not do nothing against their defense. Couldn't get no run game going. And when and when we can't get no run going, I ain't gonna lie. It's hard to get the pass going when you don't got no run going. Cause it don't open up nothing for you. It's like they know you're not gonna run it, so let's just let's just defend against the pass. Like, see, look at this. Look at this. See, but hey, that all changed in the second half. Though we was going crazy in the second half. They couldn't stop us in the second half. We was driving at will in the second half. They they was most definitely driving on us. You know what I'm saying? I can't sit here and lie. They was most definitely driving on us. And you got to respect it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to sit here and hate. I'm going to give them their credit. They was driving. And they had me worried. I ain't going to lie. They really did have me worried for a second. Because I was like, dang, we just can't stop them. But that boy Dak, Dak just blessed us. That's the only reason we won for real. I ain't going to sit here and lie. Dak was just blessing us. If Dak ain't throw them two picks, I don't know if we win this game. I ain't going to lie. I just got to keep it a stake. Because they was driving on us. Like, look at this. We couldn't stop them. Oh, nah, nah, nah. We did. Yeah, I remember this. They went for it and got it. They got it, didn't they? Yeah, man. This, man, that play was so annoying. I can't believe that happened. I don't know why the middle of the field opened up so much like that. Bro, they was driving on us. Like, we could not stop them for a second. And we couldn't get nothing going on offense. But that man, Dak was black, bro. Dak, bro. Dak, good stuff, Dak, bro. You really the GOAT, Dak. Top 10 quarterback. It's confirmed, bro. I don't care what nobody got to say. Dak a top 10 quarterback. I love Dak. It's all because of Dak. That man been blessing us. Because I ain't going to sit here and lie to you. If Dak won't sell it, score right now might be what? Uh, 20 to 6. And then we really work it from behind. Mm. Put that thing on the money. Good route, too. This was a good game, though. This was most definitely a good game. It was really just a defensive battle. And, and the thing is, bro, as much as a def of a as much of a defensive battle as it was, I feel like the, the Cowboys really won the defensive battle. The first half, we couldn't get nothing on them. And we started getting some stuff in the second half, but I wouldn't just say that we was just driving on them or nothing. I feel like they really won the battle, for real. And he made up for it on the next return, though. He made up for it. And the defense stopped in the three right here, so. Hey, got to respect it. Bro, I remember that. That man almost threw a third one for us, bro. Then he almost threw a fourth one later. Bro, Dak was blessing us. That boy Dak really liked that, bro. You got bro, you gotta love Dak, bro. Hey, shout out Dak. That's all I got to say for real. Shout out Dak, bro. This whole game came down to Dak. 
and you know you know what i'm saying like we got to give ourselves credit we played good and everything but but i don't know if we win this game without them picks Dak was throwing and that's just me being real i ain't gonna sit here and lie to you i'm gonna keep it a stack but hey i know one thing we got that w no matter how no matter how we got it if it was ugly clean no matter how we got it we got that w and guess what we still going to that bowl we still gonna win that bowl so i got to say for real look at that look at that dialing up that pick oh yeah that was a bro that was a crazy catch bro that was a crazy catch cd lamb was going off this game i ain't gonna lie i gotta give credit where credit's due that was a crazy catch. I was like, I was worried when he threw the thing up because I seen CD had a had a step on him. But then I was like, oh, yeah, he underthrew that. We straight. This might be a pick. But he still got that thing. I was like, dang. Hey, hey, Fred Warner came in clutch right there. Fred came in clutch right there. That was almost a dot. That was almost a dot. What middle linebacker you know guarding the other team's best Ooh, 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 yeah, yeah. That was that was a crazy catch right there. That was a clutch catch right there, too. We needed that. I feel like, I, and I ain't gonna lie, I feel like that's what sparked everything. You know what I'm saying? It was 9-9 at this point. I don't think we score right here if we don't get that. But this sparked everything. The offense, it, it didn't look the same after this happened. We looked like a whole different team after this happened. Look at us. We gonna look like a well-oiled machine from now on. Look at this. We look like a whole different team. Look at that. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, CMC. Yeah, CMC. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, McCaffrey. Yeah, McCaffrey. Yeah, McCaffrey. Bro, I love that man, McCaffrey, bro. That was such a great addition. That was such a great addition. Good stuff, Kyle. Oh, yeah, right up in there. Right up in there. Right through the middle. Untouched. This is what I'm saying. Different team. We couldn't run the ball at all in the first half. Soon, soon as we got that pass to Kittle, we just looked different. The pass game looked different. The run game looked different. Everything looked different. We want the same team after that Kittle catch. Bro, we could not tackle Dak. I don't know what was going on in this game, but we could not tackle, bro. Bro, a tank in the backfield. I remember this. Yeah, this was a quick, quick in route to McCaffrey. I was looking at him that whole time, too. I knew he was going to him. As soon as I seen McCaffrey go outside like that, I was like, yeah, this going to McCaffrey. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, Elijah. Oh, yeah, Elijah. Now, they showing y'all right, right now, they showing y'all the third and ten on their last possession. Well, this not their last possession. But they showing y'all this third and ten. But, bro. On the first down before that, that man Dak almost threw another pick. I think it was Dre Greenlaw had that thing right in his hands. And he made it. He made a really good play on the ball. I'm not gonna sit here and say like he, he had it right in his hands. And it won't it won't really like a bad play that he dropped it. It was just a good play that he he broke it up. But bro, he had that thing right in his hands. He was about to pick that thing. That boy Dak almost slid that third pick. I was kind of, I was, I was a little hurt by this play right here because all he had to do was stay in bounds and we would have won the game right there. But it was okay. It was okay. Now, I won't sit here a lot of y'all. You know what I'm saying? I was thinking about Elijah Mitchell right here. You know what I'm saying? And, and not in no bad way or nothing. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never going to put no blame on nobody or no or no hate on nobody. You know what I'm saying? But I was just like, damn, bro. If that man Elijah Mitchell just, you know what I'm saying, just, just went down, you know what I'm saying? It would have been the game over already. But, hey, look. That's one thing about us, though. Look what the defense do. Our defense ain't gonna. Our defense ain't gonna let us down. Look at look look at what happened. Look at what happened right here. Them boys ain't knowing. They, them boys ain't going nowhere. Well, I mean, they they was getting a few little, you know, a few little jumps. You know what I'm saying? You gotta respect it. They was. They did get out of bounds. Get some quick yards a few little times. Oh yeah, yeah, we tackled them backwards. And then, yeah, I forgot about that. That was a clutch play right there. I didn't even know this was a thing. I ain't gonna lie. I didn't know if you go out of bounds backwards like that, you stay in bounds. I was confused on why they was doing that. I was like, what the world? But wasn't nobody complaining about it. So I was like, okay, I guess that's a rule. I take it. I won't mad at it, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That 
That was out of bounds. Yep. Nah, that, like he ain't need to get that in bounds. I don't know what this was. And I've been seeing teams do weird stuff like this at the end of the games now too. Like, bro, what is this going to do? I mean, I understand you want to have as many receivers as you can. But like, bro. Oh, he, they got their offensive linemen out there. I don't know what this was. It won't no way this was working. Like, bro, all you got to do is just run straight to the quarterback. But, hey, <laughs> I don't know what this is. Bro threw it for, like, a five-yard route and then got tackled over it. But I ain't even mad at it. Hey, look, bro, all I got to say is GG to the Cowboys. They played a, a, a good game, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Probably would have won if Dak won't throw in all them picks. And, you know what I'm saying? And, and that's just the thing, you know what I'm saying? You just got to deal with what happened. Reality is reality, you know what I'm saying? You can live in fantasy. Like, maybe Dak didn't throw them picks and maybe y'all would have won. But it don't matter because y'all ain't win, you know what I'm saying? So, you just got to take that. Take your L. Take your L gracefully. Matter of fact, move on to the next season and be better. Y'all going to have to come see us next season. We're going to be the defending Super Bowl champs. we see if y'all can beat us next season. But yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? I hope y'all enjoyed the video. You know what I'm saying? I hope y'all have a good day. Good night if it's nighttime. Hope y'all smiling. Hope y'all happy. If not, I hope y'all get to that point. You smiling, you happy for real. Hey, look. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm gone.